Hey guys, Julie Ellen, you're here with another video. What I'm gonna be doing today is working with my delusions, creating another background. You can do this with pretty much any kind of paint. I'm just gonna be using my delusions because it's my flavor of the month. I'm still quite excited that I have them in my possession. So that's what I'm gonna be using today, along with uh, maybe some paint markers. I don't know. We're just gonna kind of see where this background takes me. Let's get started So after I got done uh, with the tape, I pulled it off. It tore in a few places, but that's no big deal. I used my Delusion Spray ink on it with the cut grass and it covered it up, camouflaged it really nicely. And I used the turquoise spray ink on the bead glass medium that I had here. And on the gel medium, the modeling paste that I have in these little areas. I used Punchinella as a stencil and sprayed that with cut grass. Now these little yellow dots, I took my bubble wrap and I dabbed that in my lemon zest paint and dabbed it all over the page. It started out having a very uniform pattern of some sort. I didn't like it too much, so I kind of messed it up a little to appease myself. <laughs> a couple of things before I let you guys go. Work schedule is changing and I will be able to post more during the week. Woohoo! So I'm very excited about that and I hope you guys are too. I'm still posting some things on my blog. I have been posting the website in the description of the videos. If you guys want to check it out, uh, put some ideas and stuff. Uh, that I will be doing in upcoming videos and most of them you guys have already seen. Uh, I think coming up in my next video I'm going to be working on some more hot glue stencils because I feel like you can never have enough of those. So I'm going to be making some more of those for you guys and showing you guys how to do that. That's about it for tonight's edition of Art Journaling. And if y'all have any questions about what I did on my page, I feel bad that I didn't video the rest of it, but this process happened so fast, which is something that happens to me from time to time. I'll start working on it and I forget the camera's not rolling. And then I'm like, no, uh oh, camera's not rolling. So I'm sorry that I didn't get all of that. You can see the end result and I explained it as best I knew how. So I hope that helps you guys, and I hope you have fun with your painter's tape or your masking tape, whatever kind of tape you use. Don't rip your page like I did, and have a good time with it. And get messy, because if you don't get messy, it's not art. And y'all have a fantastic night, because I'm gonna, I'm going to bed. Good night, y'all.